Why won't the drama ever die? Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk about Blue Morning, Volume 4, by Shidoka Hidaka. I'll read the back, we will delve into it. Kitsuragi's lineage is finally revealed. Once the truth is discovered, he leaves the Ku's household for the Ishizaki home in an attempt to support Akihito from the outside. However, when rumors of Akihito's improprieties reach his ears, he rushes back to see his young master. Akihito then makes the dramatic confession that not only has he broken off the engagement crucial to the rank the Kushiyagi family is so proud of, but he has also made threats against the Marquez Moriyama. This is rated M, so that means 18 plus, and it's published by Sublime. Now, one thing I have to say that this is a drama-filled volume. Now, anyone who knows me personally knows that I love very dramatic romances. I, I mean, when you watch Pride and Prejudice, that is my my jam. Um, Jane Eyre, my jam. Um, Anna Karenina, even though. She is a whiny little hoo-ha who needs her butt slapped. Love it. Fourth Sight Saga. Love it. I love dramatic, love complicated relationships that just don't seem to really work out. This one, when I say it's a lot of drama, I mean it's a lot of drama. I, I found myself halfway through it going, how much more can be thrown at these people. So, art style is gorgeous, still very gorgeous. Nothing has changed in that regard. Let's see if I can find a good example. So, nothing has really changed in that regard. It's still very beautiful. Uh, the main thing that I find is this is really heavy um, and it feels unnecessarily so. It's very predictable though. This one, well, it's very predictable to a point, and then it threw you for a ringer, which, if you thought about it, you could have foreseen coming. I didn't personally think about it, so I didn't see it coming. All of that being said, I gave this four stars. I do like the series. I do like dramatic relationships, and you did get a very good resolution in this one, where we finally have someone saying, I love you, even though their stubbornness wouldn't normally allow so it's a good volume. Um, I prefer it over to volume three. I j it's just really heavy and so much happens and carries through. So if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. I know this was a super short review and I'm not telling you very much, but yeah, uh, I had a fly fall, fly on my face. That's why I did the little spot thing. But yeah questions, comments, shoot them down below. Hit me a like, share this with a friend who you know likes Yowie, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. If you like what you see, hmm, then subscribe!